Hello everyone. Hello everyone. This is Kakuru Bernard. I'm back with our lessons. So this is practical question three. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more lessons that will be loading. So today we are looking at uh, formatting a table and performing calculations in word processing. Using a stable word processor, I create the following table of information belonging to Madiba Enterprises Limited. Save it as your name, class, and stream. So from here, we are going to create a folder. And this folder, we are going to call it Practical Lesson 3. Then we save our work from this folder and so you can type the table so after typing this table after typing this table you can now save it as your name class and stream so you save it as your name and stream in our folder save it as your name Kakuru Bernard S4 K then you save so after saving when you look at this table of ours it has a thick border surrounding it and the entire text is in Times New Roman so remember typing the work exactly the way it is earns you a credit so highlight your table using that kind of pointer you choose times new roman then you can even increase font size maybe 14 then right click in your table go to borders and shading choose grid under width you can choose 3pt click ok so this is our table you can select the top row and you bold it so our table now looks exactly this one in the question and so we have question B question B says make a copy of the table onto the next page so we shall select our table we copy we click at the bottom of our table we go to insert blank page so we are now on page 2 and then you paste ctrl v on the keyboard or else you go home tab and choose paste so the table is on our next page you save changes or ctrl s on the keyboard next is to sort the records in the table in ascending order of salary so we are going to sort the records in the table in descending order so we select the salary column from that first figure downwards under home tab where there is sort so from sort you click there and choose descending this descending is being done on column 4 and then you click ok so these figures have been sorted from the biggest to the smallest think that is descending next is to italicize the column headings and change them to font size 15 that we make the headings we select the top row font size you type 15 press enter and then we make them slant italicize or italics save changes next one our instruction is to that is e roman one add a row at the bottom of the table add a row at the bottom of the table there are two ways of adding a row at the bottom of the table or anywhere one you click at the end of the last row you press enter or you click you click in front of any row 
where you want the the new row to appear you press enter that is a row alternatively you select that row you right click you come to insert then rows below that is a row so after adding a row what do they need us to do use in built for me to calculate the average age and total salary so average age here we can write and say average age so so that we calculate it from here so this means that you shall first click where you want to do the calculation from and then you come and click the layout tab click layout tab then under layout come and click formula so from formula this is our formula and so it says some above meaning that you want to add these ones but the question wants us to have average so you can replace the word sum with average or you can write the whole thing with equal signs average open brackets above you click ok then the question was also asking us for total salary so in this section we can say total we can have total salary so here you click there again under the out tab formula sum above we are adding these ones so sum above equal signs sum above you click ok so here we have calculated we have calculated total salary average age save changes next on our instruction is uh, f roman one f roman one that we insert a column to the right of the table and merge cells insert a column to the right of the table and merge cells so here we shall select this column we right click insert insert columns to the right of the table after right click there choose merge cells then after merging cells type the text salary is paid on 28th day of every month without salary without fail that we type salary is paid on 28th day of every month without fail salary is paid on 28th of every month without fail yes and align it vertically in the center that we select this text right click text direction align it vertically choose that click ok come and choose center and then you save changes that is our instruction next insert a row at the top of the table and insert a suitable heading so here we can now select the top row right click go to insert rows above you right click merge sales and then you write madiba enterprises limited yes that insert a row at the top of the table and insert a suitable heading h add the watermark of your stream so we shall go to page layout on watermark we go down to custom watermark and then under text watermark instead of a sub we put our stream S3 West and then actually we can have only 3 West O3K 
you click OK. So what you see behind is a watermark. Save changes. Next on our, on our instruction is add a file or name and pass in the footer section. Add a file or name and pass in the footer section in uppercase. So here we are going to add a file or name and pass. What should we do? We should go to insert. So under insert we come to quick parts. On quick parts we come to field. Sorry. Let's first go to insert footer and then we edit footer. So in here we come to quick parts that is under design tab quick parts choose field under field from here categories click down arrow and choose document information so from here choose file name and then you choose uppercase then add path to the file click ok so this is the file name provided double click in your work or close header footer next on our instruction is by use of the tab key insert a header containing your names and class in capital letters by use of tab key insert a header containing your names and class in capital letters by use of tab key how should we use this so you go to insert header edit header so from this section you write your names in capital letters by use of tab write first name kakuru press tab key bernard press tab key s3k cross header footer or double click in your work. that is by use of tab the three are separated you save changes next save and print your work so from here you have to save you click file print so from here this is work on page two this is work on page one so you can choose how many copies to print and then you say print thank you for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos i remain kakur bernard thank you and thank you